Let's see. Aloha, our keto friends. We're very excited to be here. Um, are you sharing stuff or, or are you just jumping on? Remember, when you share our YouTube videos, you could win uh, this first protein sparing modified fast cookbook. And this week's winners, I picked two winners because I couldn't decide. We have on Instagram, keto underscore gene, G E N E. So keto gene message me or here and we'll get you your book. This is a delay. I don't know if you saw that. And Cherish Thompson on Instagram also won for sharing. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. In the protein sparing modified fast cookbook. And we're here to ask all answer all of your questions. Um, it's been an interesting day already, people. I won't even get into it, but let's see. Um, I didn't, um, let's see. Do, 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 do. I didn't like, well, we're going to stick with a different question here. Um, I bought the iodine drops. I didn't think I need iodine because I've always had symptoms. Uh, I think I need iodine because I always had symptoms of iodine deficiency, but I'm afraid I take too much. Should I slow like one drop a day? Well, on average, you only need three drops a day, which isn't very much, three small drops. Um, I guess it's going to depend on your size and if you eat shellfish uh, oysters. Are you getting any iodine anywhere else? Um, so is it safe for men to take iodine? Absolutely. Yes. Um, good morning. I always look forward to these lives, getting ready to make the proteins bearing modified fast bread for the week. Thank you so much. You're awesome. I made my bread yesterday, so I'm all set for the week. Um, someone said I made two, uh, bread two weeks ago and let's see. And it was amazing. Well, thank you, Jennifer. Awesome. Um, love it. Hi guys. Um, okay. Craig's jumping on now. <coughs> How many grams of fat per meal on proteins bearing modified fast days per meal? It depends how many meals you eat. Um, Do you eat two it's or more three? about total macros for the day and protein sparing. We try to stay around 30 grams of total fat. Do you see the delay? Yes. Okay. I'm not sure what that is, but, uh, could be internet. Ooh. What are some good food oh, sources? What's you, that? you read that one already? Thoughts on carnivore baking. Um, I'm S-A-H-M, but now a baker for a perfect job for addict. Yeah, my protein sparing modified fast bread. I think you asked this last time. Hmm. My, my protein sparing modified fast bread and my protein sparing modified Dutch baby pancake. You bake that. Um, yeah. I have plenty of carnivore recipes that are um, baking. Sources of food for a vegetarian. Eggs. Eggs, lots and lots and lots of eggs. It's hard to get um, your protein goal in with vegetarian. It's about the only complete protein that you can get if you're vegetarian is eggs. So like a dozen or more eggs a day will get you enough complete protein, but that's- I, I do have vegetarian have meal plans in the easy dairy-free ketogenic cookbook if you're interested. Um, hello from Morocco, hey. hope to get there someday. Halle Berry loves Morocco. I need to go. Let's Good see. morning. I've been uh, keto two and a half years That's now. 144 lost. pounds. Way, Way to, to go. go. 144 pounds. I uh, need to lose 15 more stalling. Help. Okay. Well, that's what we're here for. I would add in three proteins bearing modified fast days a week. And that's where do your macros on. We have free cal calculator on keto uh, maria.com. Get your protein sparing modified fast macros and do that three days a week. Um, so that's where you hit your protein goal. You lower the fat, lower the carbohydrates to almost zero. Make sure that you get at least eight hours of sleep. Otherwise, your blood sugars will all, always be elevated. And if you have sleep issues, I can help you with that. Um, and I would cut out coffee because those last 15 pounds can be hard, my friend. Coffee will raise blood sugar on average about 8%. Can sweeteners like aspartame and stevia cause stalls? Well, aspartame by is them, not recommended. Yeah, and by Sevial. themselves, by themselves, a natural sweetener is not going to cause a stall. It's zero calories. Mm -hmm. But uh, if you're adding it to like cream it's what cheese, you eat it with. Yeah, if yeah. you're making a cheesecake with it and you overeat the, you know, you're not hitting your protein goal because you're not going to put stevia on a steak, you know. So it's usually you're overeating the desserts, our almond flours. Those aren't recommended for weight loss anyway. Uh, how do you treat a cold on keto? 
a lot of medicine <laughs> it comes with syrup um so you use uh lemon i guess i have uh if you search um i have something for a sore throat on mariamindbodyhealth.com but we use loracidin uh loracidin monolaurin you can find on amazon maybe we'll have the link i don't know it's not a big deal but that's a natural antibiotic made from coconut that really helps people heal and you can, if you have a, you know like a uti a cold um chronic lyme disease uh loracidin is a very healthy um natural antibiotic but if you're allergic to coconut i don't recommend it Okay, next one. Let's look at. Uh, I already read that one. Yep, keep Let's scrolling. Keep scrolling. I don't. Added electrolytes. Um, whoa! So many things are improving. Yeah, so electrolytes, electrolytes are very, are important. very important. They they are not optional oh, for Austria. anyone. Someone's in the vineyards of Austria. I'm jealous. Let's see. Uh, what do you think oh. of store bought? turkey drumsticks um they're really easy to make if you want to um they're going to be marinated Smoked. probably in a yeah. sugary brine there's probably so, gonna be some sugar in the ingredients Mo i don't know most likely but you could check you, you could ask them to make it not it helps with dandruff add are you male or female if you're a female add 1300 milligrams of evening primrose oil three times a day if you're male do a thousand milligrams of borage oil three times a day i love this one i just started following you love your boys oh thank you they're just an apple of our eyes they're awesome can a lot of your recipes adapted dairy free yeah we Most, have a ton of dairy free recipes. when i work with clients they get my special dairy free uh, meal plans and they are blown their minds are blown away because they don't want to give up dairy and they're like wow you do a really good job at making dairy free delicious so yes at keto-adapted.com my clients get a great and i have four dairy free books out this yeah. one is dairy free um the 30-day ketogenic cleanse is dairy free the art of fat loss is dairy free and the easy dairy free ketogenic recipes cookbook is and just want to interject anybody who does on YouTube does the super chat or super stickers. We really appreciate you. your support. Um, uh, next is, does, does this, this help with hyper parathyroidism? Yes. Um, yes. You know, you have to modify it. You're going to want to do, you know, gluten-free, dairy-free, adding in certain supplements. Um, but yeah, absolutely. Uh, uh, what about stevia in drinks? No, I mean, there's, as long as it doesn't have natural flavorings in well, it, that could be hit, hidden. It, it's again, it's not the stevia that's going to no. cause the issue. But for some people, just that sweet taste can drive more hunger and cravings. So it, for some people, it might be best even to eliminate sweeteners uh, in question. that case. But question about their thirteen-year-old? You see that? Yeah, I'm going back. Um, thirteen-year-old has heavy uh, menstrual cramps um and heavy bleeding so i would add in 1300 milligrams of evening primrose oil three times a day and chase berry extract which will help normalize the hormones i would get rid of like you know hormones and food whether they're drinking milk um a keto diet will help normalize your cycle um trying to if you do dairy use always like maybe a raw organic dairy that's gonna be um much better for uh, hormones. Okay, for over eight years, I have mild uh, vitiligo. vitiligo that started pre keto and stopped for years and just started to see tiny spot return. Would an ancestral supplement help? And if so, which one? I actually, for that, would suggest dairy free. It sounds like you're still having a response to that. So that's butter, ghee, whey protein, cheese, heavy cream, cream cheese, all of that. The giant bag of egg powder, where'd you get it? Well, you can, uh, I'll put the link It'll below. put the link below. If you use uh, code. You can get their like 80 ounce yeah, huge bag. It's like cold Maria 20, you get 20% off yeah. or something. Hey, Miranda, uh, touch on blood sugar being higher at first. Once losing it will improve. I've seen several questions lately. Yeah. Um, what happens is when you go, when you become keto adapted and you cut the carbohydrates way down, um, what happens is your body starts to burn fat as its primary fuel. And as you're doing that, 
not only are you uh, not using glucose as much because you're burning more fat in the cells for fuel, that kind of leaves more glucose around, you're also generating some glucose from the fat because free fatty acids are, uh, uh, your fat is stored as a triglyceride molecule, which is three free fatty acids, which is what your muscles burn for fuel, and a glycerol. Well, the glycerol goes to the liver and three, three glycerols make a glucose molecule. And that adds a little more glucose to the blood, even though you're not really burning the glucose right now. So your fasting glucose can go up a little bit at first. As you lose weight, as you're, you know, you, you are, are deeper into ketosis, typically the fasting glucose will come down the time. Good question, Miranda. So next, uh, I'm going to read that one. Um, I did protein sparing modified fast two days in a row and lost three pounds. Way to go. The next day I ate my normal keto macros and it came back. What's going on? Uh, some of that was probably water, just water change. But water. that's good. Um, but you know what? You just got to trust the process. Yeah. Some people notice that they lose on the days that they actually increase increase their calories, and then it, they, so it's really about the whole process. And and yep. you know, one week in any weight loss journey is not going to tell the whole story. No. So you got to really trust the process and and give it you know a chance. Uh, next one, I have a 12 year old son, type one, needs to lose 50, 60 pounds. What's the best way for him to start? Lots of protein. Um, mm -hmm. Kids especially need more protein than adults yep. per, per pound of lean mass. So I'd lower the fat type, a bit. type one diabetics need even more protein mm -hmm. because they're, you know, exogenous insulin doesn't have the same action as endogenous. And so you, you, to utilize protein, you need insulin. And if insulin's not getting the same action, you need a little more protein mm -hmm. to get enough. Uh, and so just bolus for the protein and get yep. lots of it. Let's see. Let's do that one. Um, I, I can't read it. If insulin spikes don't matter so much if you're low fat and low carbs, what about glucagon becoming when uh, insulin is high? Low when insulin is high. Um, so... So I'm not sure I understand the question. If insulin spikes don't matter, it doesn't so matter, much. right? If you are not eating fat, yeah. So you, you the the worry with insulin is high basal insulin levels. Basal is your all day long kind of insulin level. This is, uh, you know, primarily driven by your fat status, the status of your fat cells. If they're overstuffed and inflamed, you need higher and higher basal insulin levels to essentially hold back the floodgates of fat from flooding the bloodstream and high basal insulin levels are a real problem. Low, low insulin levels with some transients because you eat protein, you, you eat, you need insulin to use that food you ate mm -hmm. to utilize it and store it and do and make muscle and break down the amino acids. So, you know, spikes are not really a big concern. I'm going to hit the, this quick. Okay. Uh, when doing protein sparing, there's a, a super chat. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Katrina. Uh, when doing, actually, let me just find the X so I can put it up there. Oops, that's not the one. All right here. Here it is. When doing protein sparing modified fast days. I lose weight, but then when I go to my normal keto macros the following day, the weight comes, she already asked. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think we answered your question, but yeah, just trust the process. Trust the process. Like give it some time. Market, you know? Yeah, it's going to go up and down. But if you look at the trend over time, you're mm -hmm. going to see the nice. Keep us posted, Katrina. Nice uh, de decrease. And another one here. Thank you so much, Mary. Uh, and thanks for asking my stevia question. Trying to get off those sweeteners. Yeah, yeah. it's it, stevia is not about the stevia or no. the insulin. It may or may not increase a little, or I'll say anything anything with respect to calories. It's more about whether it drives a sweet flavor or drives we're, your cravings. We're in the trust tree, uh, Mary. I have sweetener every day, but it's not, I make sure that it's pure. It's usually like stevia glycerite or uh, like a monk fruit extract. It doesn't have any additives. The problem is, is when you get like stevia in the raw that you find at almost every store, it has maltodextrin in it. And maltodextrin, it helps bulk stevia up so you can bake with it. And maltodextrin has a glycemic index of 110, where sugar has a glycemic index of 52. And so when people switch to like, not that we recommend Splenda or uh, Stevia in the raw, 
that will cause you know you to not have any results and it will cause other issues too as well it's a maltodextrin it's not the actual stevia in the product can i eat protein sparing four days a week and water fast three days these 150 pounds no uh you do we do not recommend water fasting You're longer muscle mass longer than 24 hours protein sparing is really a substitute for water fasting mm -hmm. because it gives you basically all the benefits with none of the negatives the negatives are losing your own muscle so you definitely don't want to do that. I would do, you can maybe push it to four days a week of protein sparing, but then do regular, macros. but then do regular macros the other days and add a overfeeding day each week in that you case. Know, do you know much about pregnancy and eating this way lifestyle? If it's okay. Absolutely. <laughs> I have many, many clients that That's just are just a little bit about it. Seven, eight years now you worked with Dr. Kiltz at a yes. most well, successful fertility clinic he, in the country. Is, he is the best fertility doctor in the entire world. Uh, Dr. Kiltz. And he, doesn't make you, I mean, it's obviously your choice, but he highly suggests eating the keto diet because cholesterol makes healthy hormones. Um, not only that, we have, um, we have a keto coaching certification program and some of our keto coaches were past the age of what they thought they could get pregnant and they're having babies. Yeah. And, uh, also, uh, the ketogenic girl, she just had her baby ate totally keto the whole time. You're eating the most nutrient dense foods, people. You know, why is it our kids book? I talk about this quite a bit of what is in breast milk. You know, we, if you start with breast milk, everybody agrees. Breast milk's the best thing, right? If you really look at what's in breast milk and you look at like how much protein per pound of lean mass, those babies are getting, it's like almost three times their lean mass and protein and you know, all the saturated fats that are in there and all this. So how does this suddenly become a bad thing when breast milk <laughs> is the best? Oops. Okay. So uh, love you yeah. too. Thank you, Chrissy. How to keep it simple using your cookbooks. I don't want to spend a lot of time in the cook in the cooking. Honestly, the proteins, very modified fast recipes, very simple, super, super simple. And I also have, um, easy dairy free ketogenic recipes cookbook. That's very, very simple, but the protein sparing recipes, most of them are 10 minutes or less. Boom. Like that. And what's great about these two is you don't have to just use them on protein sparing days. So if you want to get good macros, a great way to do it is use one recipe from protein sparing one, one of these easy recipes and then another recipe from one of our other cookbooks right. and you'll get great weight loss macros for the like day. the French toast porridge. That's five minutes to make. Um, the, let's see, it was, they're all like, t uh, the strawberry shake, the, uh, minute breakfast mu muffins is one they're to real, two minutes, really simple recipes. 12 minutes, shrimp and grits. So, uh, need help with diverticulosis. Oh, uh, diverticulitis. Uh, I work with that often. Uh, so doctor is recommending low fat with high fiber. <laughs> Not going to do that as I'm following keto broker. No, that's a terrible idea because you, you want no low, fiber. No fiber. If, it's going to damage your gut. Fiber is like steel wool to the intestines. If you want to have more intestinal issues, scrape that with that fiber. Um, I help a lot of people go into remission with diverticulitis, Crohn's or colitis. Um, supplements are going to help as well as what you eat. You can heal that intestinal lining. So, uh, when you're protein sparing macros three times a week, yeah. The, when you do the protein sparing plus, plus fat loss macros on our calculator, you get both. If you look at the calculator, you'll get one row of keto weight loss macros and then a row of protein sparing macros. The intent is you do the protein sparing macros one to three days a week and you do the, the keto weight loss macros the other days. And if you're doing that regularly, you add an overfeeding day, which is basically maintenance calories, adding extra fat and protein. How do I drop my cortisol? Well, sleep is really, really important. Um, you were going to like, if you are in like a state of like bad cortisol issues and have adrenal fatigue issues, you probably need about 10 hours of sleep. And to get 10 hours of sleep, you might be like, I'm trying, but I can't. Certain supplements, natural supplements will help you. Um, often it's low progesterone and a female body, which I can help you with that. Um, you just, you know, want to do a, like a personal health assessment, but also think about all these different stressors. Caffeine is a stressor, exercise is a stressor. So you wouldn't want to be like running marathons, lifting heavy weights, do more yoga, gentle things, walking, um, and only work out in the morning if you do work out because cortisol is naturally in the high in the morning and it should fall throughout the day. If you do your workout after you work, 
you're getting an abnormal rise of cortisol. And over time, you're just like your body starts doing that. And then you have a hard time sleeping and it's a whole process. Why do some people claim they can't digest meat well? Well, it may depend where they're coming from. Well, a lot of, you know, like vegetarians, when they eat meat, they'll actually get sick because their body is... Your body's not producing protease anymore. Protease yes. is the digestive enzyme that you need to digest meat. So if you've ever been a vegan or vegetarian for a period of time, your body's smart. It's not going to waste its time making protease if you're not eating any. So you probably need to add in a digestive enzyme in the beginning, but that's okay. Oh, Lisa, she's one of my recipe testers. She's here. Yay. Oh, wow. Uh, and Donna, I just want to shout out. You guys are the best. Thank, Thank you so you, much. But uh, could too much electrolytes cause uh, headaches? I don't know if too much could cause them. So the wrong ones will because yeah, the forms. potassium, magnesium is out of balance. What I don't like is the magnesium is too low in those electrolytes. Typically. Typically in every single one I've seen. So I would add an extra magnesium glycinate outside of drinking the electrolytes. Let's see. How do you get rid of fibroids? I'm loving your keto approach. It's really helped both myself and my husband. Awesome. How do you get rid of fibroids? I'm loving your keto approach. Oh, they just yeah. that. I'm sorry. Um, I was reading somebody else's. Um, so fibroids would be a personal health assessment. Um, I would recommend doing that. That that would really help because supplements. Well, obviously, you know, you're doing the keto approach already. Um, that's going to be step number one to get rid of that inflammation. But then some some certain supplements, like one thing, would be the evening primrose oil. That's going to be very helpful. Um, uh, what is the correct spelling for the coconut antibiotic? Well, she's saying, uh, more for transitioning as a job to carnivore baking, the earlier question. Uh, so it depends, you know, if you're already yeah. doing baking, I would give it a, a little section in your, uh, counter saying, Hey, carnivore baked goods and see if you can get some traction with that oh, section, you know, kind of so like in some, uh, candy stores, they'll have the sugar free section. Oh, I will come to your bakery. My yeah, friends, my so, goodness. Uh, that's definitely something to consider. And just doing keto might be a first step, you know, to get more like carnivore is a whole nother level of baking. Okay. So what is the correct spelling of the coconut antibiotic? Lorcidin. Lorcidin or also it's called. L-A-U-R-C-I-D-I-N. Or it's also called monolaurin. Mm -hmm. We'll have a link in the we'll do notes link. below here as well. What are we drinking? I'm drinking Element uh, in my drink right here. I have... I always drink my ice cold water and I have a little bit of strawberry stevia in there. Uh, what do you think about adding psyllium to the, oh, you mean the protein sparing recipe? I wouldn't do it. Psyllium uh, is bad, bad, bad. Well, it's all fiber. It's all and fiber. It's, and you have to count fiber if you want to be yeah, successful. Yeah, I mean, for weight loss. It wouldn't be protein sparing then. It won't be protein sparing and. It's uh, going to cause a lot of intestinal issues. Could cause issues too, yeah. So about that one. Constipation. Let's see. Is evening primrose oil a pill? Yes. We'll have it in the link below. How much to help with sleep? It's it's more complicated than that. That's only, if you only sleep for seven hours and wake up too early, B, you have to do a personal health assessment. I'm telling you, it's totally worth it. Uh, or just do the sleep supplement plan. It's $25. It's totally worth it. But it's, you know, the 1,300 milligrams of evening primrose oil three times a day. But it's that's just one step. It's kind of like peeling an onion. There's more to it than that. So this one, man, I know how a carnivore diet will not lead to kidney stones or excess protein turning into glucose. Number one, kidney stones are vast majority of the time uh, caused by Oxalate oxalates. They're calcium oxalate kidney stones. It's the oxalates from plants like dark greens, spinach. nuts and seeds, spinach, uh, potatoes that bind to calcium that bind to the calcium as it's trying to get removed from the body. So it's those anti nutrients, the ca the oxalates that are causing that problem. Number two, uh, protein turning into glucose is a primarily a demand driven process. And I encourage you, Karen, to come back. I'll put a link below, or just go to our uh, search gluconeogenesis in our videos, and I talk all about that that process and and why. Eating protein doesn't turn into chocolate cake. <laughs> um, what can you substitute the egg white protein for the bread? Something else? Nope. Sorry. Mm -hmm. It doesn't work. Um, I don't recommend whey protein for the bread. Um, I don't. I've tried collagen. I've tried so many things. The egg white protein, it's, if you don't, if you can't find egg white protein, 
look for meringue powder. It's just dried egg whites. And if you can't find that, you can make dried egg whites. But honestly, people are making this bread in Morocco. They're making it in India. They're making it in uh, Croatia. They're making it everywhere so you can find it. Uh, this one. Um, I'm 55 and had a hysterectomy at age 36 and had thyroid moved eight years ago. It's hard to lose weight. What can I do? Well, I would, um, if you want to do a, like I do personal phone consults. I just got done with one this morning. Um, I help a lot of women with hysterectomies and thyroid issues and um, that's are stuck with weight loss. That's why, I mean, I know it as extreme, but it works and it tastes good. I promise you. Um, but you're going to want to do at least a personal health assessment. Um, there, that would really like, that's a very minimal cost and it would take you really, really far with your sleep. Cause I'm guessing after hysterectomy, you're not sleeping. You probably might be constipated with your thyroid. Um, so yeah. Okay. I love watching you guys on Sundays. Collectively, my husband and I have lost 95 pounds. Go. Since January 9th. Love you. Thank you so thank much. You, thank you. Thank you. The real keto. Sweet of you. Thank sweet you. Amy. Uh, let's see. Um, I am tired all the time eating keto, but waking up tired. I am tired all the day. Well, first, like, are you electrolytes, sleeping? electrolytes, electrolytes? Number one. Are you sleeping at least eight <laughs> yeah. hours? And if not, then, you know, add you, a electrolytes are not optional. You know, you're going to have low energy if you don't you get probably enough. get constipated if you don't get enough salt. Yeah. When we say electrolytes, it's salt potassium, magnesium, and zinc. Yeah. Is it okay for my diabetic insulin resistant partner, a male, to eat two meals a day if he's consuming that much, uh, 160 to 190 grams of protein and is following a protocol alternating protein sparing amount of fast for fat and fat, la fat loss days, or should he do three a day? Three two. meals? Uh, meals don't really matter as long too as you much. Get your goal. Um, weight loss and reversing insulin resistance and those kind of issues is all about macros. It's getting those macros right. And you know, doing a compressed eating window is just a, a tool to help you get your macros right, limit snacking and that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. But if he does it, those macros in two meals a day or three meals a day, it really won't matter either way. What is the easiest way to track macros? Well, using our website, keto-adapted.com, you just put it in and we do the macros for you. Uh, otherwise, uh, you know, chronometer is a good tool. It's free. Mm -hmm. Uh, you can try that chronometer. But with our website, you can actually pull my recipes in and sure. they all fill in. Big jump. Big jump. Sorry, everything's a little laggy today for some reason. I'm just trying to get back to where I was and I cannot find uh, it. What is. Let's just jump into something. Okay, and yeah. Yeah. How. How should we schedule a refeed day? Or, yeah. Um, it could just be as easy like Sundays are kind of a day that you have family meals and stuff like that. Maybe having a big ribeye that day. Um, you don't really, you could still do a refeed carnivore type day. You don't have to add in carbohydrates, um, but it's just what you like to do. You know, um, I like to have a dessert. So I would have like my flourless chocolate tort, which I just did a video on Instagram making. If you're interested in that super simple, that type of stuff. Um, health assessment, there was estro factors and it's very costly. Yeah. There's something with estro factors. Yeah. We it. have a different, one. we have an alternate, just email us support at keto dash adapted.com. Uh, and we'll get you that Thanks, alternate. Thanks Christina for doing the health assessment. Uh, Hope everything's going well. How do you do us? How do you give you money? I don't know. how. Oh, <laughs> uh, I see people giving you money. You're, you don't have to do that. honey. You don't have to, but if, if there's something on YouTube, that's called a super chat where you can pay to ask a question and we'll make sure it's answered. And we appreciate that support very the much. The ferritin could be high for a couple of reasons. I would actually give blood to lower it. Let's see. Uh, is English toffee stevia a good option? Absolutely. Let's see. CNY fertility right near me. Yes. Yep. Dr. Kiltz. What about this? Um, will keto help um, endometriosis? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. I have a lot of, I just posted a keto testimony of healing endometriosis. My doctor wants me to get an IUD. Don't get an IUD. I've had a lot of um, clients tell me about their nightmares with IUDs. Um, I believe it's losing a bunch of weight that uh, I have a, a better, is a better solution. Honestly, Ellie, instead of going through the pain of an IUD and what can actually, I've had a friend who was um, she would teach workout classes and she could no longer even work out after her IUD basically 
ruined her. Um, but I would do at least a health assessment. I used to help a lot with that. Is protein sparing a problem with gallstones? No, <laughs> not at all. Uh, again, it's, it's going to help with typically that. related to oxalates or yeah. something like that. Um, it, what is the purpose of overfeeding day to boost your metabolism? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you kind of eat it up. protein sparing and then, uh, weight loss macros too, so you're eating really low calorie for an extended period, it keeps the metabolism honest and it, you can get metabolic adaptation where the metabolism kind of down regulates a little bit. It's not starvation mode. It's a, a different thing, but it, by adding overfeeding days, you kind of keep it honest. So, mm -hmm. uh, let's see. <laughs> it makes me feel wonderful on protein sparing days and healthy overfeeding days. Not so much. Well, it's about, you know, long-term, you know, those overfeeding days might be a little yeah. tough for you at first, but maybe like, here's my, here's the thing, a, Ursula, I do not like to be really full. So eat more meals, of, do smaller meals, do a couple more smaller meals. It doesn't have to be, um, you know, one huge meal that just makes you feel, oh, you know, uh, weighing meat. We do it before raw. raw yeah. Um, love to replace my pizza baking stone. Do you have a pr preference? Um, yeah, we do a link if you want. Uh, I would look for a cast iron pizza stone. Yeah. We like the cast, cast iron. iron a lot. Mm -hmm. uh, so I'll take a couple more. Example of an overfeeding day. Uh, it's really just same food, just a little more protein and fat. So, so well, it could be like a ribeye instead of a filet mignon. Yeah, yeah you just um, uh, you know, it could be like a bacon burger, you know, uh, that has a different percentage of fat in the burger if you want, something like that. Um, let's see. First time here, great info. Thank you, my friend. Thanks. Uh, I have a A1C of 5x4 and fasting insulin 2.5. That's good. Uh, you know, ideally you want your A1C to be 5.4 or below and fasting insulin below three is good. So you look, sounds like you're on the right track. Uh, what, uh, after what period, period of time, time should I do another health assessment? Honey, you don't have to do another one. Um, that one is going to you know, I try to list, I do list what every supplement does. So you can be your best advocate on what, so like if you don't have sleep issues anymore, if your cravings are gone, you could eliminate the ones that help with cravings. If your blood sugars are balanced, you can eliminate the ones with blood sugars. The one that's we like we always will take are like magnesium and zinc. I'll always do the evening primrose oil. Um, the probiotic we always do. There's a vitamin K2 we always do. There's some that we always will take. If you just email me, I'll let you know. Uh, besides magnesium, what do you want for constipation? Salt. Salt. <laughs> Lots of salt. Salt. Eliminate the fiber. Um, eliminate it, dairy, nuts. Um, the Just Thrive probiotic is good. If you uh, use the link, we'll have that. I'm trying to skim ahead quickly to get to a couple more. Um, how much of each of these, I will put a link in the show notes. We made a great chart for yeah. elect electrolytes. Yeah. It's a very great visual. And if you don't get enough magnesium, if you don't get enough salt, it will leach magnesium. So even if you're doing magnesium supplements, but you don't get enough salt, you're still going to be low on magnesium in your actual cells. Big thank you to Robert. Thank you, Robert. Very much appreciated. Um, but we bought both the protein sparing modified fast book books and Love them. Love them. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You're so awesome. They're all yeah. different recipes. My a super sticker too. Thank you, Elizabeth. Very nice. Uh, we appreciate all the support. We do appreciate it. Um, any, what about this? Oh, let's do Roberts. He, he did oh, this yeah. the chat. Uh, I I, a lot, lot of muscle and strength fasting. Should I set my protein to my lean old lean body mass? I would uh, definitely increase it. So, we, you know, our calculator will do about 0.8 times your lean mass. So if you have an accurate lean mass in there, it'll calculate by a, by a multiplier of 0.8. If you're trying to gain and you've lost like that from fasting, I would go to at least one times your lean mass, maybe even as far as 1.2 times your lean mass. Uh, or like you said, maybe going back to your old lean mass and doing a multiple of 0.9 or 1.0 to make sure you're gaining. The same thing happened acids. to me, Robert, and someone, Gina was picking on me earlier. If Gina's still watching about my size, 
that happened to me because I got caught up in this OMAD thing, you know, and losing a lot of muscle mass. But thanks, Gina, for pointing that out. <laughs> Elizabeth did that. Thank you so much. Uh, can't wait for your kid, new kids book. Thank oh, you, sweetie. We should get it pretty soon. Maybe our like, copies will be coming very, very soon. Next we're, week, maybe. We're super excited about that. It's, it's so great because it it's not just for adults. It's also for kids. Like we did graphics and superheroes. and oh, That's how I like to read. Yeah, and like amino acids and building blocks. We made little Legos from the you know amino acids where you get your amino acids from. It's really so awesome. Two protein sparing books. I only have one. Uh, it, it's called The Art. This is the first one. And this has been out for maybe three years now, three, four years. And then The Art of Fat Loss is on keto-adapted.com. And that one has almost twice as many recipes. It does. <laughs> if you're first time here, you are in the right place. Oh. I know there's a lot of confusing and conflicting in keto info out there. The Emmerichs are the most experienced and best advice. She wins a book. Carissa, you, you win a book. are awesome. You message us. Thank you so much. Uh, let's see. Let's do maybe one more here. Yeah. Uh, let's try this. I own every book. Debbie oh, says, thank you, oh, Debbie. Debbie. You're awesome. She's one of our certified coaches. Debbie is. Uh, so let's see. My husband is keto carnivore with me Good for man. two years now. However, now he is getting diarrhea several days per month. He is 59. Do we need enzymes? I would add something called Spectrozyme. Um, I'll put the link in the show notes. Do the Spectrozyme on that template. Yep. Um, every time he eats, that will help. Make sure you're not doing any MCT oil. That can cause loose stools. <laughs> And you might want to cut out the dairy to see if that helps. Because a lot of times dairy can either be constipating for people, but if you're not, if you're having a bit of an issue um, with uh, maybe autoimmune response, it would cause diarrhea too. So uh, one more uh, super chat here. Uh, Thank I you, Allison. Gallbladder attacks. Two have sent me to the hospital. Oh, man. Does this mean I digest fat poorly? Any uh, lifestyle changes or recommendations? It may be I an adjustment to eating more protein. You know, I would make or, sure or, or eating this way. And if you're eliminating um, vegetables, it could be oxalate dumping. I yep. need to tell you that. Yep. I would add in 300 micrograms of vitamin K2 with your first meal of the day. And I like the Just Thrive brand. Yeah. And then uh, you maybe add a digestive enzyme. Oh, yeah, to yeah, yeah, yeah. That with, too, the Spectrozyme yeah. link. We'll yep. put that Spectrozyme link. You should do that too. Anybody without like with gallbladder issues and gallbladder attacks, it does mean gluten is a autoimmune issue. So make sure that you're hundred percent gluten free. I hate these keto products. Yeah. I just speaking of those, what? one last one. I've been doing the perfect keto chocolate, salted caramel collagen. First of all, collagen is not a complete protein, so it shouldn't count and it towards can stall weight your loss. protein goal. And 27 grams of fat for 12 grams of protein. That's, nowhere near protein sparing macros protein sparing macros are like 100 120 grams of protein for the day with 30 grams of fat for the day so go to our calculator we'll put the link below. and i have a protein sparing chocolate pudding that is like low fat but yeah. it's like close to zero fat and so some speaking some truth in here let's see oh thank you my friend Thank uh, you. I almost like got up and left, Gina. I hope you know that. Gina, you make me not want to do these. <laughs> one last one. Carol, super sticker. Thank you so much. I love Carol. A you guys are the best. Sticker. Thank you so much. Wow. Um, For that, Carol, we will come back next week. How's that sound? Absolutely. And next week, is that August 1st next week? Uh, yes, August 1st. I met this man 24 years ago on August 1st. 24? We met. 20. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we met at a wedding oh, on August 1st. That's a long time. <laughs> it's a long time. Good thing I still like you. Just kidding. <laughs> I just got the Art of Fat Loss book. Let's see. Run. Let's read that. Can't wait to try some recipes. You are going to love it, my friend. And this one I had up here is very nice, too, Dan. Always a treat to spend time with you. You've changed so many lives. You know what, Dan? I just wish that we could have more of a conversation. I feel like if we could see them and actually talk to them, it would be much more fun. It would be. So. Well, Thank you, everyone, again, for yes. all the super chats, yeah. super stickers. And we'll be here the same all time. All the support. We'll be here week. same time next week and answering questions again. So right. thanks, everybody. Bye, everybody.